everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Remake. It's episode number two of Claire's story and so far it's a lot like Leon's story except things are moving a lot faster it seems. However, we have one big advantage um, in our second run here and uh, that's the fact that we kind of know the layout of this place and we know where to find certain key items. So Claire is like literally clairvoyant and she has some knowledge of this place that technically she shouldn't have. But uh, still I am going to exploit my knowledge uh, as best as I can because I want to be efficient and you know save time, maybe save ammo by... Um, basically picking up all the items that I need first and trying to avoid um, backtracking and all of that stuff. So I made a plan for what I want to do next and to be fair this plan is based completely on the assumption that items are where they were on Leon's playthrough which may not be the case. I guess we're going to find out. So um, I would like to get the grenade launcher which is in the weapons locker over here and I need a key card for that and I'm pretty sure the key card is in the east wing second floor in the room with a statue um, this one and I think I should be able to get there even though I don't actually have uh, the key to the second floor east wing because um, I can go uh, via the fire escape right through the back door and then into the second floor so that's what I'm going to do and while I'm in this room I guess it would be a good idea to pick up the jewel as well and in order to get the jewel I will need the book and the book is in the library and again I can't enter the library from the main hall I assume because it used to be locked at least on Leon's playthrough so I'm going to assume all the doors are locked again even though Leon technically has opened them already. However, um, there is another way into the library, which is via the attic in the third floor. There is like a door that leads to the upper level of the library, I think. So that's where I will go first. I will pick up the book and then I will go to the room with the statue to pick up the jewel and the key card. And then I will go back and grab the grenade launcher, right? So that's my plan. And... I guess I should uh, check out the west office and the corridor as well because there's still some stuff that I haven't picked up. So I'm going to do that too. Also, um, I think I might be able to place some items already. I don't actually want to use them yet, but since they're on my way, I may um, already be able to place them and I don't have to carry them around with me later. So that's for the valve and the showers and that's for the gate in the attic. Um, I still need the battery but I can already place a gadget I think. So I'll take this with me and um, well I really just made a save a while ago but let's make another one. And let's be careful here because as far as I remember we left some zombie alive outside here. Yeah, this one. Oh, and there's another one over here. Well, that sucks. Um, okay. We have not investigated the west office yet. Uh, phew, well, I suppose I'm going to take it and put it into storage before I move on. Handgun ammo. Okay, but for which handgun? I mean, I have two handguns, right? Acid rounds is gunpowder plus high grade gunpowder. I'm going to assume acid rounds is for the grenade launcher. And I don't have the submachine gun so far. Alright. I understand. Uh, pretty sure he's going to come back. Alright, we have a safe over here. Mm, I don't have the combination, but. I may have written it down on my note because I usually wrote down all the combinations. Yeah, I have some safe combinations written down here. But I think this would be a little bit too cheaty. I mean, I already have all this knowledge of items and stuff, so maybe I shouldn't use my notes from Leon's playthrough. Plus, it may not actually be the same code. I don't know. 
But uh, yeah, we're going to do this the proper way and wait until we find the code. I wonder though if we can get Leon's welcome present. Oh yes, we can. He didn't take it. The initials of the first names. Yeah, I remember. Let's have a quick look at this. That's N, E, and D. Operation report. Yeah, this is the same we've seen. And I'm going to enter the code here. N, E, D. And now I need the ones on this side. M, R, and I think that's a G, right? Okay. No, 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 I want to turn these ones as well. M, R, G. So, what do we get? I'm going to take your stuff, Leon, because you didn't. Speed loader for the SLS 60. That's not the one that I'm currently using. No, it's not. Well, I guess I'm going to take it. Um, and yeah, I need to go back to storage now because my inventory is full. So back into the corridor with all the zombies it is. And while we're here, um, let me look around a bit because there must be some stuff here that I overlooked. I think there was some ammo somewhere don't remember the exact place, but it might have been over here. Yes, it's over here. Okay. I'll take it. Okay, yeah. Um, I guess I have to find a way past these zombies. I may have to kill both of them. Or at least stun them for a moment so I can get back into, into the safe room. Okay. Let's bring some distance between me and these guys. Oh no! Oh, oh yeah, right. I need to. I need to reload, and it's taking forever. <coughs> right. And now let's make a quick escape. Ah, the reload time on this weapon is just ridiculous. That's going to cost me some health eventually, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Um, this can go into storage. I guess this can go into storage. And I will keep this because I want to put it into the proper place already. Okay. Um, guess we're done here. And now I actually have to go up the stairs because I want to go to the attic. Make a save. And let's head out again. <laughs> yep, I'm going to ignore you. I'm going to ignore you and I'm just going to run into the showers first of all because I can place the handle. So I won't have to go back and carry this with me again. And I know there's some stuff in here as well. Um, right, we have found this code already. It's not cheating. We found it, so I can use this already. Ooh, that's more flame rounds. Um, I'm going to leave it here because at the moment I can't use it. And this is the one that has a zombie inside, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. I remember this. This actually scared me when it happened the first time. Ooh, even more of them. And this one is empty. Oh! Oh! This is definitely not where it was on Leon's playthrough. I mean, I'm not complaining because this is making my life a lot easier. I'm going to leave this here for a moment. 
because I will come back here at some point anyway, but um, it's good to know. Portable safe inspections. Right, there used to be a portable safe here. Not the bejeweled box. Huh. Interesting. Okay, now we have placed this, but I actually want to go somewhere else now. Yeah, I'm going to leave this here as well. I want to go into the third floor. And then into the attic. And, oh yeah, I need ammo. <laughs> Always need ammo. And that shadow over there <laughs> is just <laughs> creepy. Oh! <coughs> what the hell? <laughs> I didn't expect you to be here. Seriously? Yeah, seriously indeed. Alright, well, it's always nice when you get one of these random critical hits and you don't have to waste like six, seven bullets. But someone is still alive somewhere. Um, hmm. Yeah, I probably have a code for that somewhere as well, but we haven't actually found it in this playthrough, so I'm not going to use it. Oh, the key! Right. I think this was actually here on Leon's playthrough as well. I just didn't remember it. But, okay, um... It's looking pretty good so far. And... Let's see if there's a liquor in this floor like it was in Leon's story. Well, I think it actually was a different, a different floor. It wasn't this one. Yeah, this is the note warning of liquors, but this is not the liquor floor. Okay. Alright, here we are in the attic. Gunpowder. Um, I will leave this, but I will take this with me, I guess. I'm surely going to find some window to <laughs> to use it on. Yes, I know you're going to come alive at some point as well, but until then I'm going to save my bullets. Alright. So, um, I think I can place the gadget already. Right, yes, I, it's placed, it's not in my inventory anymore. So now I just need to uh, find the battery and then I can blow this up and get to the maiden statue over here. Okay, okay, this is more or less working as I intended so far. Also, I, I kind of remember there being a hip pouch in this place, but... Um, I guess Leon took that with him. <laughs> because I can't... I can't find it here. Um, I need at least one spot for the book that I intend to pick up. So I'm going to leave the gunpowder in here and I will pick it up on some supply run eventually. Alright, here we are, library. Um, yeah, and there's lots of zombies going on in the library. Let's see. I do believe that over there is the book. And that spot over there is where you crash down to the first floor. So I'm not going to step on that trap this time. So, um, actually
So let me quickly head inside here. Because, yeah, this is a unicorn. Um, do we have... Do we have a code for the unicorn already? Uh, well, there's one piece missing. I guess we can probably piece it together. I mean, these are like two people, a scale, and... If we look at this part, it might be the tail of like the scorpion or whatever this was. So, um, do I want to grab the uh, medallion already? I think I can. I can grab the medallion. I have one spot for the book and I have the key so I can return to the main hall and place down the medallion there. Yes, yes, let's do this. Okay, two people. A scale and... Oh, it might actually be the snake, huh? That tail thing we saw. Let's see. Yes! That's our first medallion. Uh-oh. Can they actually come inside here? Oh, yes, I can. Alright. You bastard! I guess I'll have to take you down. Also, I'm going to take the map. Very nice. And what exactly is this over here? A box. Ooh. Do I want to take the box? I kind of need... kind of need some space for that book that I want to pick up. And I don't even know what's inside the box. I'm going to return here in a second. For now, we're going to focus on our other objective. We're going to take the book and I think I can open this now. Yes, I have the key for it. And here we are, back in the main hall. Okay, so far my plan is working more or less as intended. Um, do I have... No, I don't have the code for the lion statue. That's the one that's completely uh, covered by blood in the book. So I need to find another way to get that one. Okay, let's put this here. That's one medallion. And I guess I'm going to use the key into in all of these doors. There we go. And I don't know, I haven't really explored all of this so far and I think there used to be stuff. Yeah, there's stuff. Give me that. Um, so, how was my inventory looking like? I'm going to use this in the room with a statue, so I will drop this off pretty soon and I may actually be able to pay a quick visit to the break room to drop off some stuff, so Let's go back inside here and let's have a look at this mysterious box. Oh, uh, yeah. I should have known that this was that this would happen. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do we got here? Yeah, let's examine it. Tiny storage box. An undeveloped roll of film, lion statue. Oh, so this is going to be the code for the lion statue, huh? Ooh, well, I definitely need that. So maybe I should change my plan slightly and go back to the dark room to develop this. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I have to return here at some point anyway, so I think I will stick with my plan and uh, go to the uh, room with a statue first. 
And now that I have the key, I can actually uh, go this way. I don't have to go all the way back to the fire escape. Oh dear. Of course, someone had to ruin my day over here. All right. Let's run past her. <laughs> and into this room. I can't pick up this and... Going to assume I can't open this. No, obviously not. And this is just a pamphlet that I don't really need. It turns a museum into a police station. <laughs> That's a very good question. That is a very good question. So, um, do I actually need this key anymore? No, I don't. So I can, I can discard the key. And I have some space in my inventory. And I definitely need to use that uh, board somewhere. Oh, well, good thing that you didn't notice me. Because I need to reload. Okay, well, um, another lucky break. Oh, well. My luck ran out pretty quickly. Oh, well, um, I am kind of lucky at the moment with my uh, critical hits. Anyway, um, since I already have one board, I may as well pick up this one. Now we're going inside here. Okay, we got the arm over here. Got the key card over here. Going to take it. And this is just the same as before. Alright, so we can get the jewel. Let's do it. Combining this. And going to use it on the statue. Very nice. <laughs> so, take this. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Why? Where did you come from? <laughs> uh, this this didn't happen. This didn't happen when Leon did this. <laughs> uh, I don't even know why this is funny, but he was just standing there. It was kind of kind of weird <laughs> okay <laughs> i can't i can't go through here i think we actually get this um in in the parking lot at least on on leon's playthrough so um this might take a while but yeah i think i i have what i came here for so <laughs> we are going back back into um i guess a dark room because i need to develop the film and leave some stuff behind and I may want to make use of these boards while I do this. Let's be careful here because I think she is probably still alive. Yep, she totally is still alive. So let's make sure she can't grab me. <laughs> All right. Okay, this guy is actually pretty dead. Um, I guess I'm going to take this way back to the dark room because there should be some windows here I can I can board up. So that's what we're going to do. But I need to walk because liquor. Yes, liquor is still here. Of course, he is still here. Now let's. Make sure no more zombies get inside this way or this way. And the rest of them is uh, boarded up, so this corridor should be safe. Yeah. Well, <laughs> minus these guys, but they can't actually come inside, so. It's it's okay. 
Okay, um, I'm almost back in the dark room, but I need to be careful. I left some zombies alive here. Yeah, for example, that one. Um, I'm just going to run past you. Okay, okay. I think overall this was a very successful mission. Um, let's develop that film. Yeah, that's the solution for the lion statue, which means we can get this medallion since, um, since it's right back in the main hall. Um, now, next step would be to actually get the grenade launcher, since I have the card for it. I'm going to assume the grenade launcher is going to take up maybe two spots in my inventory, but it still might be worth it to get it. But first, um, let's make a save. Okay, uh, back to the deposit room now. Um, I may eventually have to kill this one because sooner or later she's going to grab me. I'm certain of that. Okay. Here we go. Let's use weapons locker card. And yeah, this is going to uh, use up some space in my inventory. Oh, well, actually, it's just one spot. I am, I am surprised. I am very much surprised by that. So, um, let's load the ammo. Well, it's just one. One shell at a time. Okay. But at least I have a pretty nice, powerful gun now. I like that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, I think, I think I'm pretty happy with the current situation. So what do we want to do next? I guess we can go back to the main hall and get that next medallion, right? Sure. Let's, let's do that next. Okay. Is the police woman somewhere around here? I don't see her. All right. Should be able to go through here now. There we go. And yeah, let's uh, have a look at this again. It's a crown fire and a bird okay crown fire and bird okay lion medallion i'm going to use it right away There we go. So all we need now is the medallion from the Virgin statue, which is over here. And I need the battery, which is in the star's office, I'm going to assume. And we should probably get that box because it, it contains the USB dongle and we can use it in the star's office as well. Plus, yeah, as you can see, I've left behind a lot of resources, so I probably have to make one or two supply runs to collect all of this. Um, I may actually do this uh, in between episodes because, I mean, this place is kind of safe anyway, so I don't expect anything dramatic to happen when I do the supply run. But yeah, um, let's let's head back to the dark room because I would like to make a safe. 
Oh well, um... We have a guy in here now. That's a pity. Well, maybe I'm going to take the floor with the liquor. Can't believe I say that, but at least I can quietly walk past the liquor. Yeah, but they, they always react when you're close to them, even if you're walking, so... They are scripted to react to you, even if they can't actually see or hear you. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm far enough away now. And we're going back inside here. Uh, yeah, um, I need to do something about these guys. They're just, they're just a pain in the ass. Uh-oh, 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 I have to reload. Well, at least he's not very close so far. Oh. Yeah, at some point, this long reload time will be the end of me. <laughs> okay, um, can I leave some stuff behind? Uh, where can I find more hip pouches? I'm trying to remember where to find hip pouches in Leon's playthrough. Because I really, really need more inventory space. I guess I'm going to leave like one of my grenades behind because I, I definitely need more inventory space, especially now that I'm going to the star's office because there was a lot of stuff in there. And I would like to pick up, well, all of it if I can. Anyway, I think the last thing I'm going to do today is go back to the second floor to pick up all of this stuff and I guess we're going to the star's office in in the next episode <laughs> yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> I almost forgot that you were here I should really remember not to run. Just walk slowly and it's going to be fine. <laughs> all right, let's grab all of this. But I think I'm making pretty good progress here. I mean, we have two medallions already and we are very close to getting the final one, which means very soon we will be able to leave um, the police station already and it's only like two episodes that's not bad um presumably there's still stuff in here that i can pick up did i miss something or is it just on a different level <sighs> ah here we go well, I'll take it. Okay, now it's blue. Okay, um, give me that scepter. And I think now I need to examine it and remove the jewel. And now I can use it with a box. And that gives me the star's badge, which is also the USB dongle. Right? There we go. Okay. All right. I think I have everything that I want now. And uh, the next step is going to be the uh, star's office over here to grab um, the stuff from the armory and the battery for the explosives. 
And yeah, I might actually make a quick supply run, you know, pick up the stuff in the library, in the waiting room. There might be some stuff in here as well, but I think I'm going to do this in between episodes. And in the next episode, we're going to continue by uh, going up into the third floor and to the star's office. So yeah, as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.